good morning students this is singh sir welcome see you to the favorite youtube channel so students today we shall discuss standard 5 grammar section chapter 13 subject present continuous tense how we should use in which place we should use present continuous tense we use the present continuous tense to express an action that is going on at the time of speaking it is also used to express a future plan of action we can use this tense in the future plan of action for example for positive statements the verb is am ar and bhar plus ing or b1 plus ing for example he is doing his homework number 2 they are coming next month for negative statements for negative statements the verb for me is is am ar plus not plus bhar plus ing for example he is not doing his homework he is not doing his homework another example they are not coming next month they are not coming next month for questions for questions we should use is am um, ar then before the subject is am ar should be used before the subject is he doing his homework question mark are they coming next next month question mark the helping verb should be used in the beginning of the sentence what is he eating wh word where are they living then some more examples i am giving you he is reading a book it is positive positive sentence he is not reading a book it is a negative sentence is he reading a book it is a question what is he reading it is also a question you are going home tomorrow it is a positive statement or a positive sentence you are not going home tomorrow it is a negative sentence are you going home tomorrow it is a question where are you going tomorrow it is also a question so students an important difference note carefully listen carefully what is that the difference between the use of present simple and present continuous tense present simple is used for habitual action present simple or simple present tense is used for habitual action present continuous is used for actions in progress at the time of 
speaking. For example, I read English lessons daily. Simple. Next, I am reading English grammar now. It is a continuous. See upon seats on the last bench. It is a simple sentence. Today, she is sitting on the front bench. It is continuous. Usually, you speak very slowly. It is a simple sentence. Today, you are speaking very fast. It is a continuous. The gardener waters the plants on Tuesdays. It is a simple sentence. He is not watering the plants now. It is a continuous. So students, it will be easier on your part to make it understand, to get it understand if we solve the exercises as well. So students, let us do the exercises. Part 1. Put the verbs in brackets into the present continuous tense. So the first question number 1. The teacher teach in the class. Answer. The teacher is teaching in the class. I write number 2. I write a letter to my friend. Answer. I am writing a letter to my friend. Number 3. The sun shines in the sky. The sun is shining in the sky. Number 4. They dig a well. Answer. They are digging a well. Boys. Question number 5. Boys swim in the river. Answer. The boys are swimming in the river. Tom lies under the car. Answer. Tom is lying under the car. Number 7. She not tell the truth. Answer. She is not telling the truth. Number 8. We not leave this place. Answer. We are not leaving this place. Number 9. I not get my share. Answer. I am not getting my share. Number 10. They not begin their work. Answer. They are not beginning their work work. Sure. Part 2 comes. Answer the following questions in complete sentences. Is the hare running a race? It is a question. We have to give the answer. So the answer is yes, the hare is running a race. Am I telling a lie? Answer. No, I am not telling a lie. Number three. Are the girls singing in the hall? Yes, the girls are singing in the hall. What is Mr. doing? Answer. Mr. is Drawing a picture. Number 5. Where are you going? Where are you going? Answer. I am going to the market. Number 6. Who is crying in the room? Who is crying in the room? Answer. The baby is crying in the room. Number 7. Why are you running so fast? Answer. I am running fast to appear the exam. 
I am running fast to appear the exam. Number 8. When is your father coming back home? My father is coming back home on Monday. Number 9. How is the patient feeling now? Once again. How is the patient feeling now? The patient answer. The patient is feeling well now. The patient is feeling well now. Number 10. Which lesson are you reading? I am reading lesson 13. I am reading lesson 13. Number 11. How many boys are sitting in the library? How many boys are sitting in the library? There are 13 boys sitting in the library. How much milk are you buying today? I am buying 2 liters of milk buying today. So students, let us discuss part 3. Following sentences are in the simple future tense. Put them into the present continuous tense. We can use the present continuous tense to express a future plan of action. Question. He will go home next Tuesday. Answer. He is going home next Tuesday. Number 2. I shall take the children to the zoo on Sunday. Answer. I am taking the children to the zoo on Sunday. Number 3. We shall do these exercises in the evening. Answer. We are doing these exercises in the evening. Number 4. They will reach here in 10 minutes. Answer. They are reaching here in 10 minutes. Number 5. She will leave for Calcutta next week. Answer. She is leaving for Calcutta next week. Number 6. Boys will go for a picnic tomorrow. One second. Boys will go for a picnic tomorrow. Answer. Boys are going for a picnic tomorrow. Number 7. The teacher will come into the class very soon. Answer. The teacher is coming into the class very soon. Number 8. We shall stay at a hotel tonight. Answer. We are Staying at a hotel tonight. Number 9. They will have a meeting tomorrow. Answer. They are having a meeting tomorrow. Number 10. I won't leave this house now. Answer. I am not leaving this house now. So students, this is the end of the class. And if you are satisfied, with these teachings, please give us like, comment or share. So, in my next class, I shall discuss once again this chapter, part 2, because it is a long chapter. So, the students, let us wind up the class. Thank you.